and close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your mind right with the body. Don't let it go wandering off. Try to keep the two of them aligned. It's like a house and an owner. You're the owner of the house. If you stay in the house, then if anything happens, if a pipe breaks, if the electricity goes off, if insects move in, pests move in, you're there. You know what's happening. You can do something about it. At the same time, the house gives you protection from the sun, the rain, the wind, the heat, the cold. Both sides benefit. But if the owner is outside of the house for long periods of time, the house gets neglected. Animals move in and there's nobody to chase them out, so they just make it their home. Pipes break, mold develops, things wear down. In the meantime, the owner is exposed to wind, rain, sun, heat and cold. Now the house can't run around and try to catch up with the owner. It's the owner who has to come back to the house. What this means is you have to make up your mind you're going to stay here. And as you're staying here, then you begin to notice well, the breath isn't comfortable in this part of the body. There's a pain here. And there's greed, aversion, and delusion that moved in and taken over. Okay, you've got to clean them out, straighten things out. That's what the meditation is for, is house cleaning. And as you clean the house, at the same time, you have a shelter. You're not exposed to things outside so much. Because when we're not with the body, we're looking for our pleasures and looking for our support, looking for comfort in things outside. And things outside can change, just like the weather. Today it's hot, and tomorrow it's hotter. The next day it's going to cool down, that kind of thing. Sometimes the changes can be predicted, sometimes they're very unpredictable. And you're just exposed. So for your own sake, stay inside as much as you can and look after things inside. Both sides benefit. As you're dealing with the world outside, you don't have to leave your awareness of the breath. You can stay centered inside your body as you're dealing with things outside. And that way you're much less likely to be wounded by them. You have windows and doors that you can open and close. In other words, where something unskillful is going to come out, you can close the door so it doesn't come out. If there's anything lurking in the basement, it's, you can keep it in the basement for the time being. As for things outside, you see there are sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations that can have a bad effect on your mind. There are people out there who try to influence you in unskillful ways. You can close off those doors, close off those windows, because you've got a good place to stay inside. So lots of advantages to staying here. And you can deal with the world outside, centered inside. In fact, you can deal with it much better. You're coming from a position of strength, a position of well-being. And that makes you less a victim to outside changes. And at the same time, your home inside here has an owner looking after it. So you can be fully at your ease when you come back home. Both sides benefit.